First, record your audio file and save it to a USB drive or memory stick. Insert the USB drive to the Raspberry Pi. Open the folder in your USB drive on the Raspberry Pi that you saved your audio file to. Open VLC Media Player. To convert the audio file to the .wav 16-bit format, go to Media, Convert slash Save, drag the file from the USB drive folder into the VLC Media Player, click the down arrow near Convert slash Save and click Convert, choose Audio CD Profile, and click on the List icon to the right. Select the WAV option in the Encapsulation tab, then click on the Audio Codec tab, check the Audio checkbox, and enter any name. Select a bitrate of 16 kb per second, sample rate of 44100 Hz, and click Create. Browse, and create a destination file name and file location for your exported file. Let's call it Test4, Save, Start. To play the converted .wav file, you will need to modify your Raspberry Pi code. First, look up the path location and the file name of your converted file. Here's where it is, this is the path location here, and this is the file name here. Type in the file name, test4, save, then click run. If using a Bluetooth speaker, you'll need to connect it. Click on the Bluetooth icon. Add device, mine's already here. Put your device in pairing mode, select your device in the list, and click pair. Once it's paired, it should show up here. Then you click connect. It says connection failed, use the audio menu. What does that mean? This is the audio menu. You'll notice that if I click on it, it says volume, but if you right click on it, then you can select the audio output, which is the Bluetooth EWA audio, and then we are connecting. Now you can see we're good to go because there's a green checkbox.